Good morning, good morning, good morning. Look, I'm in Cadiz. There's the beach and just doing a little morning walk around. Right, here's another book for you guys. Um, I've not even finished it and I'm already raving about it. It's called Unscripted uh, uh, by DeMarco and it basically encapsulates everything I have thought for a very long time uh, about kind of the theoretical way you should be living your life. So he's an entrepreneur. He made quite a lot of money selling a, a business a long time ago. So he has enough money to not work. Uh, and his whole observations on what he calls the system are spot on, they're exactly, if, if you're in a job you may relate to this as well. So basically the whole theory being, and, and this, is, this is what propelled me to do property and hopefully it will propel you too, is that the whole kind of weight of um, being a consumer, now I love shopping like the next person, 100%, you know, pearl earrings, the whole thing. But being in debt, consumerism, and going to college, which I agree with, I actually have a couple of degrees, uh, including an MBA, um, is weighed down. It weighs you down because then you're in debt, basically, and uh, into the system for the rest of your life. And so, what you need to be looking at is a slight alternative way of thinking, and um, to say, hang on a minute, there are certain aspects of that life I'm going to take. I'm not going to live like a monk, you know. I like shopping for earrings and dresses and, um, and if you're a guy, don't worry, you don't need to. But there's other aspects that are really important that you need to um, comprehend that, that by being compliant and going along with those without thinking too strongly about what it's doing to your life, you're really um, pulling yourself into a life of servitude. And that's the kind of classic 30-year mortgage, credit cards, fancy cars that are on, um, let's sit down by the sea, by the sea that are on credit which is something I've never advocated even when I was a multi-millionaire <laughs> I was still driving a car that honestly um, was probably worth less than 400 quid and the bumper was tied in string and my, my friend Sonny was like Suze that's an embarrassment and even I ended up thinking yeah it's a bit of embarrassment so in a different way it's it's correlating with the book Rich Dad Poor Dad which is assets pay your bills um, so so get your uh, get your hard work in build a portfolio wh whatever that portfolio is for me it's property um, and that, that then let those assets pay your bills and then you choose you make conscious choices about how you spend the rest of your time whether you're inquisitive about you know like, I don't need to work these days but I absolutely love doing my teaching because I'm inquisitive about other people's success and um, because I've got quite a lot of experience I'm really glad to be able to contribute towards their success as well it fires me up it gets me out it's exciting so so it's a very different take on the same principle that principle one is uh, you need to be free from debt which is assets paying bills and then he's got another um, three principles beyond that Def and definitely worth a read if you already think like an entrepreneur like me it will simply confirm I'm reading it on the beach in Cadiz it'll confirm what you think and just go absolutely and actually it's brought up some interesting questions for me it's like well are your houses simply consumerism because I got a few houses that are unmortgaged now that I don't have any debt on them but the great majority of my houses are still mortgaged and it's really been challenging me actually Suze do you need all these houses um, are you still living the script and um, which is you know buy 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 accumulate 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 or should you break free um, have some contrarian thinking which is what this book is about and sell some of those houses because then you can have all your other houses uh, without any mortgages which is complete freedom and it's, so it's really challenging me um, because it's not just about did I buy some fancy earrings it's did I buy some fancy houses on, on debt, although we're calling it good debt typically in our industry, that's unnecessary? And the answer is probably yes. So I'm kind of like, hmm, as well. You know, it's, so it's not just, in, you know, I'm already fairly far down the line of his thinking and he's still challenging me. So it's a book I definitely would suggest you guys uh, have a look at, Unscripted. If you're currently in a corporate job feeling the pinch and thinking, I can't stand any more boring meetings like this, my lifeblood is dripping away, which is how I used to feel, definitely get it. If you are halfway through building a portfolio, get it because it may change some of your thinking. And if you've built a really, you know, sizable portfolio like I have, damn it! It's still impacting on my thinking, which is only a good thing. Unscripted, great book.